In this video, I'm going to talk about Pigou's example. Pigou's example is a type of routing game, which is a particular type of game in game theory. So, assume we have the following scenario. We have one quantity of traffic. Now, this traffic is uh, can be cut up. It's non-atomic, okay? So, we can have um, a third of traffic go this way, a third of traffic go that way. Now, we have two ways of getting from A to B. We have this um, huge highway that no matter how many people take this huge highway, it'll all always take them an hour to get to work. The other way is a shortcut, but it's a shortcut that suffers heavily with congestion. And so the amount of time it takes to go this way is um, dependent on the amount of traffic that chooses to go this way. So, for example, if 75% of the traffic went along the highway, then 75% of the traffic would experience an hour's commute, whereas 25% of the traffic would um, experience 25% of an hour's worth of commute, so 15 minutes worth of commute. So, to study this, we, we've got these flows. They can go um, one of two ways. And when we talk about flow, we're going to use the letter F to denote the quantity of traffic that goes this way. And if we know that F traffic goes this way, then that means that 1 minus F traffic must go this way, because the entire traffic must add up to F. Once we've done that, we can write down the cost of the flow. So this is um, saying the average cost, basically. And so what we have here is the um, quantity of traffic going along the top arc multiplied by the latency of the top arc, multiplied by the amount of time it takes on the top arc. So that's f times 1. Then we have the bottom arc. So we have 1 minus f um, flow, so 1 minus f bits of traffic, multiplied by the time it takes if 1 minus f bits of traffic go this way. So 1 minus f. So that gives us 1 minus f squared. So a simple question is, OK, if we have this situation, what is the best way for the flow to go? Well, you can do this very easily. You can just differentiate um, this function, find where the derivative is nil, etc. But just looking at it graphically, you should be able to see um, that the minimum is actually at 0.5. It's, it's not a hard thing to, to show. So that means that this optimal flow, we're going to denote that by f star, is when half the traffic goes along the bottom um, arc and half the traffic along the top arc. And then the, um, the cost, so the best possible cost, is 45 minutes. All right? And that's because half the traffic is getting half an hour, and the other half is getting an hour. So the average is 45 minutes. Now, if this was the case, and I was one of the commuters that happened to be going along um, the one-hour commute, and I saw that half the, half, the, uh, half of the commuters were going along the 30-minute commute, I would change. I would... And I would deviate from my current strategy, and I would start taking the shortcut. And it's very easy to show, in fact, that the Nash flow is zero. So no one would use the highway. Everyone would use the shortcut and, in fact, um, suffer from um, an hour's commute. And that's Pigou's example. Now what I'm going to do is um, play around with a bit of code in Sage, which is a neat open source math package to, to try and quantify the inefficiency that we see occurring. So this is Sage Interact, um, which is uh, a little, a small little website um, that's quite quite uh, recent, and it allows people to, to upload little bits of Sage code. It really is great. Um, and here's a bit of code that I've just uh, uploaded. And if you look at the picture here, I've actually looked at a slightly different situation than the one we just described. Instead of just an X there, I've got X to the C. And basically, as C increases, this shortcut becomes um, less efficient. So if I click on that, the code loads up. It's actually quite uh, quite simple code, but there's no need to, to look through it. You can just evaluate that. And this creates a little interact, which allows us to play with the value of C um, and recalculate things. So if I put that C down to 1, which is exactly... Um, the uh, the situation we were dealing with. So the bottom arc has latency x to the 1. The optimal flow is 0 0.5. The Nash flow is 0. It's exactly what we just saw. And the optimal cost is 0 0.75 and the Nash cost is 1. And then the price of anarchy, which is just the ratio of these two costs, 
is 1.33 or 4 thirds. And um, what I've actually got there is a plot of this price of anarchy. So how bad a situation is as the uh, the, the bottom route gets um, gets slower and slower. And we can just see this price of anarchy going up. So 1.33 and there it's 6.772. And quantifying this price of anarchy is actually um, a very nice uh, research problem. Um, lots of people doing some work on that. And that's about it for uh, for routing games in general and the Pigou's example in particular.